Hello, my most amazing artists. So today, you guys are going to be doing painting. Level, whoops, two, level two. And the purpose of today is just to re-remember exactly what we learned in our last year since we haven't been in school for a really long time. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go over the materials that you're gonna use. You are going to need a pencil, a small brush, a larger brush, you will need your water bin, with just a little bit of water in it and your sponge. And all you have to do is just get it a little bit wet. It doesn't need to be too wet. Then you will use the cake watercolors. And the, you will also need a blending palette, one of these little white things. So there's your supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna do is you will be planning out two different art pieces. One for painting, your other art piece will be drawing level two. Okay, so let's just talk about painting for now. You're going to come up here and you're just going to decide what you're gonna draw. Um, and it could be just whatever you want and um, just plan it out, make it um, your own, right? Okay, and you're gonna draw, you're gonna do two designs and they, need, they should be different, right? So whatever designs you decide to make, and then you're going to go ahead and decide which one you're gonna use, and you're gonna go to your, whatever table you're sitting at, that is the rotation that you're gonna start in. So if you're on the painting level, then you are going to start on the painting level. So you're gonna go ahead and draw, <clears throat> take your pencil and you're gonna draw as lightly as possible. Don't push hard, this is too dark and I'm drawing very dark so you guys can see it on the computer, on the television, sorry. But I want you guys to be very, very light handed and when I say light, I, I'm talking just so you can barely see it. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go a little darker because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, okay? I've got a flower and some leaves. Okay, I'm just gonna make this really quick so we're not spending a whole lot of time with it. Okay, then, I would, then what you're gonna do first, remember, with watercolor paint, you are going to use all the light colors first and then all the dark colors. So <clears throat> I am going to take my big brush because I wanna cover some area and I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna come in here with this blue, okay? And I'm just gonna pick up some of this color. Now I want a little bit more of this, right? Want a little bit more of this, but I want to make it purple. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to rinse my paintbrush off, come in here and grab some red. And this is where I'm going to mix my colors. Don't mix your colors inside of your paint pan. Okay, mix them in this palette. And then I'm going to come in here and fill out my paint. Or fill out my picture with paint, sorry. Okay. This is a little darker than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Okay, so remember, you're supposed to start with your light colors first and then go to your dark. Now, I didn't want it to be that dark, so that, 
that was a mistake. Um, but it might honestly be the lightest color that I use. So then you're gonna rinse your paintbrush off, right? When you rinse, you're just gonna rinse it and then wipe it, right? When, rinse and wipe. Okay, I'm gonna come in here with the green. And, and these have not seen a lot of water for a really long time, so you guys may have to get some extra more water than you think on them. You don't need a whole lot to paint in places, right? Okay, so there's my light green. Now I'm gonna come in and I want that green to be just a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this blue to it. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna come in and add all of my details. I'm gonna get my smaller brush and I want a little darker right in, maybe right under that leaf, okay? A little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush out because I want a little bit more blue in that green just to get it a little bit darker. I want a little bit darker in here. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do the center of my flower and I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of yellow, but I'm gonna get my big brush back out so I can get this yellow watery. It's pretty dried out and I wanna make sure it's and I'm gonna add it back. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into this green again. And um, I'm gonna add a little bit more blue after I rinsed out my brush. And then I think what I'm gonna do is rinse out my brush again and make sure it's still really wet. I'm gonna add some of this red in here because I'm trying, I'm looking for a really, really dark. Rinse your brush if you're gonna dip back in there so you're not mixing the color. Yeah, that's the color I'm looking for. Maybe a little bit more blue in here. All right, there we go. There's a really nice dark purple. I'm gonna take that with my smaller brush and I'm gonna come right in here. Oh, almost the same color. Come right in here, right in the middle. Go ahead and rinse my brush and get some more blue in here. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and first draw two ideas, then take one of those ideas and make it a little bit bigger and paint it light colors first, then dark colors. Now, let's go ahead and move on to our drawing.